There was nothing stunning about my last video. How could you do that to me? This time I bring you vagina pig vagina. Don't you think that's stunning enough? I mean, it says on its title, I didn't say it. And it looks like a vagina. Go to Rhino. We're going to make use of the new feature of Rhino 7, and that is subdivision surface, aka sub D. We're going to start with a rectangle, and then we're going to extrude the edges out to form these organic canopy thing in the middle, as just you saw. You can choose to crease some of the edges to make them sharp. And that is what I did for the edges of the camel pee. Mirror the geometry so that we get a symmetrical geometry. And we're going to bridge the gap by using the bridge command. Alright, let's start modeling the floor and wall. Same as before, we're going to have some rectangles to form the floor. Remove the crease between the floor and the wall to create this smooth edge. Add some loop cuts for the edges so that we can fine tune the detail of the wall. By dragging the vertex and scale them to the center, we've got these wavy form. I don't know what these are. I probably shouldn't say it. And then mirror the geometry. Also do the same thing for the floor. And then we bridge the gap. And there you go. Alright, the most exciting part is to model the vagina. Oh my god. Oh shit, I can't. Oh. We can contour the whole sub-D geometry to form these lines. And then we're going to pipe them to form the structure of the membrane or whatsoever. Just check in the composition and Rhino before we go into Blender for rendering. And don't forget to download the model of bed sheets and also the lamb. Because they are the props in the scene. And we're going to place them in the center of the scene so that it looks more lively, animated, and populated with people and whatever. Blender, it's a free open source software, and I've been using it for a while, I find it stunning. I used to use Lumion, but I dished it, of course, because it's so expensive, provided that I bought the license, which, of course, you know, I did, of course. Some basic setup, for example, setting up the sun, setting up the material. The material, you can separate the layer in Rhino, and then when you import it, the materials are going to be separated automatically, so that's good. So I can put the emissive material for the, you know, the private part and as well as the pink light for the nightclub vibe. Now we can put some white highlights on the ridges to put it politely. All right, this is probably the most important step. The material of the floor and the wall should be super reflective. By lowering the roughness in the setting in Blender, we can make a super reflective surface. We can give it a bloom effect so that the emissive material can give out an outer glow and then apply materials for the props, like the bed sheet, the pillows, and whatever. So for the canopy part, I select this silk material. To, and by adding a bow map to it, it has that nice little touch of texture. Hit F12 to render in Blender. Photoshop, we're going to add a little vignette to it, and that's it. If you want to see the full version of the process of this video, or any future video, just let me know in a comment, I'll see what I can do. Peace out.